Hey, this is Angie Brown, and we are taking a look at Git Branch. So Git Branch is a divergence of the state of the repo. There might be better uh, descriptions than that, but that's the way I think of it. You can think of branches as being copies of a point in time that have been modified to be different. And so what I want to do is step you through what it would look like working with Git Branches and this is gonna be a little bit messy and it doesn't matter if you can remember or make sense of all this because it will make more sense when we start working with it, but do your best to follow along here. So imagine we have a Git repo. In that Git repo, we have a main branch. And basically all Git repos have a main branch and that's pretty much the standard name for them now. And we're gonna also have a production branch. So the main branch is where we're going to have code uh, that features and bugs will be um, rolled up into. And then when we're ready to push it out for production, it will go into the production branch and some CI CD tool will push it out and automatically deploy it. So um, let's imagine we already have a commit in the main branch. Uh, maybe there are pr previous versions in the production branch, but we're not gonna worry about it. So uh, you have developer A, developer A needs to, to work on a very specific feature. They're gonna open up a feature branch. And in there, they're gonna put in some commits and they're working along. Uh, meanwhile, in the company, somebody already has pushed some stuff into the main branch. It's not ready to go in production, but that commit is now out. So what's important to note here is that feature branch one is not aware of that new commit because things are happening asynchronous, a, in async manner in different branches. And this is the challenge with Git is that you have to deal with all this async stuff and make sure you bring those changes into yours, deal with conflicts, things like that. Now let's say we have developer B and developer B is working on feature branch two. And when they started on their on their um, uh, their feature, they decided to branch from this point in time, okay? And so they start working on it and they get their feature uh, done and um, they get, they talk to their, um, uh, the director of engineering and, and they make a pull request. The pull request gets accepted and it gets merged back into main. Okay, and so developer A, who's working on fe uh, feature branch one, has all these changes that they still don't have. So let's remember that they're gonna have to deal with that at some point. But anyway, that feature got merged into main and it looks like it's ready to go in production. So it gets merged into production. And so this particular commit contains, I'm gonna get my pen out here, contains all of this information, right? And it's all packed into here, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just gonna erase that here. And so that gets pushed to production and it gets tagged. A lot of CICD systems will trigger when a tag is applied. That's definitely how I do it. But now coming back to developer A, they're on feature branch one and they have all the stuff um, that they need to get their branch up to date. So what they'll do is they'll merge back in, in their direction, I know it doesn't show a merge, but they'll merge that information into feature branch one. So they are now up to date. And they have now finished their feature by doing a bit of extra work. And so they've merged back into, into the main branch. And now their stuff is to be rolled out to production. So it gets merged into production and then that gets tagged. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of uh, this kind of workflow. This should have really been like that. Uh, and this actually has a very particular name. It's called the GitHub flow. Now there are some variations of this, so that's why I say very close to it, because in case I'm wrong, I wanna have that buffer to say that, well, I didn't say this is exactly the GitHub workflow, but this more or less is the GitHub workflow where you are creating branches, feature branches, merging it back into some other branch, and then you have a branch for production. Uh, you can have branches for all sorts of things. You can have specific environment branch branches like staging, development, and production. You can have specific branches to developers, so like based on their names. You can have branches per features, branches per bugs. It's gonna be based on what your team wants to do. All right, uh, there are definitely Git branch commands you should absolutely know, and we will do, again, a quick, quick and dirty crash course so you are familiar with it. This is a extremely common pattern that you're gonna find that you'll be doing, which is you'll be creating a new branch for a feature. You're gonna be adding changes. You're gonna be pushing it upstream. We might do this via VS Code using the Git CLI. We might be doing this using GitHub, uh, creating a branch from an issue, but we'll definitely be doing this because this is something that happens a lot um, in professional um, uh, teams is that they're creating feature branches. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, if it doesn't, 
wait till we go ahead and do it and then it will make more sense then, okay? Ciao.